The 1.4 update for Terraria has added so much great content. All of it's been extremely high quality, there's been two great new bosses, there's been a ton of balance changes, and Journey Mode has made a massive mark on the game in a really great way. And that's just the beginning of the list of things that have changed. The update's been a remarkable success, and Terraria has had record player numbers on Steam, and it's had one of the fastest growing subreddits for a little while too. But there's one thing that they did add in this update that I was personally immensely disappointed by. When they were teasing the 1.4 update's contents, they teased that they were adding a new harder difficulty setting that was going to be even harder than expert mode, and it was going to have all new exclusive loot. The entire Terraria community was extremely excited about this announcement, but fast forward to the update's release and people's opinions on the new difficulty setting are mixed, to say the least. Let's talk about the missed opportunity of Terraria Master Mode. This might come across as a controversial opinion to some, but I've found Master Mode to be highly disappointing. And I think the best way to explain why I was so disappointed by it is to do a bit of a comparison. Let's look at the differences between Normal Mode and Expert Mode, and then compare those to the differences between Expert Mode and Master Mode. So Expert Mode has all new AI and attack patterns for a handful of the bosses, new AI and attack patterns for a number of enemies, exclusive items that actually affect the gameplay, and enemies have more health and deal more damage. The differences between Normal Mode and Expert Mode are huge. The experience a player has playing Normal Mode is wildly different from the one they get playing Expert Mode, and there are gameplay altering incentives to playing Expert Mode such as new accessories and weapons that are unobtainable in the normal mode. But let's do this exact same comparison between Expert Mode and Master Mode. Master Mode has exclusive items, but those items are cosmetic and don't affect gameplay. Master Mode enemies have double the health and deal double the damage, and you get like an extra accessory slot or something. And that's basically it. The difference in experience between Expert Mode and Master Mode is fairly minor. The only incentive to play Master Mode is to get the new relic items or the new pets, or just to gloat to your friends that you beat of Master Mode playthrough. The cosmetic items are a great addition to the game, and they look really really cool, don't get me wrong, but they would be better off being added to the game without the addition of an entirely new difficulty setting that feels like a bit of an afterthought. They could have just had them be a rare drop or something. Maybe this is just me, but it feels like Master Mode's a bit of an afterthought to the game. It's like they sprited these new relics and sprited these new pets and animated them, but they didn't really know how to implement them into the game. So they added a new difficulty setting, just for the hell of it, but all they really did was ramp up the damage. But despite all that, I think the most important issue with Master Mode is that it handles difficulty in a very tedious way. The way it's increased its difficulty isn't exactly fun. Expert Mode makes the game harder, in part, by giving enemies new attack patterns, but Master Mode just makes every single enemy kill you in two hits, all the time, no matter what armor you're wearing. The damage increase in Expert Mode is definitely a part of what makes it harder, but the damage increase in Master Mode is a bit absurd. It feels more frustrating and unfair than it does difficult. Instead of forcing you to get better at aiming and dodging a boss's attacks, it just makes it so that any single mistake you make will get you instantly killed because of the obscenely high damage numbers. This method of artificially ramping up the difficulty isn't exactly fun. It makes Master Mode feel like a trivial addition to the game, just to add some new cosmetic items. The game benefited from the addition of the items, but not the addition of the difficulty itself. I can already picture the comments to this video, but H2, you're just mad because bad, you can't keep up with Master Mode, so you're making a video complaining about it on the internet. Well, no, I'm not complaining because I can't beat Master Mode. Master Mode is almost exactly the same as Expert Mode, but the damage and health numbers of all the enemies are higher. The bosses and enemies' attacks are all exactly the same, so if you can beat a boss in Expert Mode without getting hit more than two or three times, then chances are you can beat a boss in Master Mode too. The problem isn't that Master Mode's too hard, it's that the attempt at increasing the difficulty is completely artificial, and does nothing but make the game feel more tedious. In fact, with the release of 1.4, they actually added a new secret world seed called For the Worthy, which takes the game's difficulty to absurd heights. They made breaking pots and hitting trees sometimes drop lit bombs. They made all of the bunnies explosive so that if you kill them, they blow you up. 
they made all of the demons in hell drop guide voodoo dolls, and there's lava pretty much everywhere. And that only just scratches the surface of the changes they made with this world seed. Yes, they did also ramp up the damage numbers for this world seed, but alongside that they also added interesting mechanics into the seed to make the difficulty actually feel fun and interactive to play on. Somehow the secret joke world seed had more time and effort put into it than the difficulty setting that's on the menu screen when you select a character, and it doesn't really make any sense. Of course I don't actually think that the trees should drop lit bombs and bunnies should explode in your face in master mode or anything, but there should be some sort of gameplay change other than just damage numbers and an accessory slot. In master mode, everything from grinding for new armor and weapons to fighting bosses just feels that bit more tedious, because you die in such a short amount of time from anything you get hit by. I started a master mode run recently, and I have to be honest, I've not really been enjoying it. The only fun I've really had is when I've been cheesing the old one's army, or I've been cheesing late game bosses with game breaking bugs and strategies. My personal favourite is this one, where you can have the old one's army persist indefinitely, and you can use Ethereum mana to spawn dozens and dozens of aura traps all on top of each other, and it just melts a boss instantaneously the moment they touch it. Doing these bosses legitimately is possible, but the grind has been made so much more intense by the arbitrary damage increases on all of the bosses, especially with bosses like Plantera, where failing at killing the boss means trawling through the jungle to try and find another bulb, which can literally take hours. Master Mode adds an arbitrary difficulty spike to Terraria that the game honestly didn't need. Expert Mode handled challenge in a fun and exciting way, and the rewards for beating this more challenging mode actually affected gameplay. Master Mode might be the new hot thing for people to do who enjoy challenge runs, or streamers who want to prove themselves the best of the best, but for the average player it just feels like an arbitrary difficulty spike that didn't improve anyone's experience of playing in any way. Thanks for watching.